Yes, uh, no, Mr. Yes. Youssef. Yeah. Uh, I want to say that a lot of people actually say that this Islam is, is peace, you know. Okay. And I'm one of those who say Islam is peace. Okay. Are you a Muslim or not? Yes, I am. Okay. So what do you want to say? Proud. You are proud Muslim. Okay. Uh, yes. So anyways, I wanted to say that uh, what you're saying is wrong. In, in about what? About the scientific errors and all that. Okay, give me one. I said it's an error. Which one? So what Jaal Ardu Bisatan mean? Go ahead. That's that's how it goes, right? Alright. And what Bisat mean? As long as you speak Arabic, I'm happy that you do. Yeah, yeah, I am. Yeah, what what uh, the I, word, I, what the I, word what the word Bisat mean? Bisat Sujad uh, carpet. Carpet, okay. So is it the carpet flat or it's yeah. not a flat? It's flat, but uh, okay. what I think going uh, on this uh, verse what the verse means is actually mm. that means he made it for you mm. that the ground is flat even though it might not be flat on google earth or whatever mm. uh, but uh, we see it as being flat oh so you get me okay so allah he is saying he did not make it flat but he make us think it's flat no, no, no. He makes it seem for us like when we look, when we walk, uh -huh. the ground is flat. It's yeah, but he's not saying uh, he's not saying he make it seem to be. He said, "You speak Arabic, my friend." So read with me carefully. Yeah, I do. Wallahu ja'ala lakum. What ja'ala mean? It mean made, right? Made. Ja ja he made it. Yeah. Made. Yes. So he made. Wallahu ja'ala lakum. He made for you the earth. Yes. Carpet. He did not say look like it is as if it is. He said clearly. Wallahu ja'ala lakum al-ardu al-arda bisatan He made the earth for you a carpet So how, why, why you are making your own uh, uh, I mean, are you changing the word of Allah? Did Allah say it look like? I'm not, I'm not uh, doing all that I'm, I'm not putting words in the Quran But, uh, he, but he said uh, he made it for you Okay, my friend Like uh, bisatan, you know okay, So he my, made it for right. us bisatan My like, friend yeah, which which scholar is the one who explained the Quran for you? Al Tabari. Al Tabari. So if we go to the Tabari, you accept the Tabari? Uh, yeah, of All course. Right. Uh, but can you show me multiple, not just one? No because, problem. Like, I will show uh, you. I will show you as many as I can. No problem. Give me a second, please. Here we go. Wallahu right. lakum al -arda bisatan, and this is in Arabic in the front of your eyes. And I'm glad you speak Arabic. That will make it a lot easier for us. All right. So this All is right, Ibn Kathir. Yeah. Um, this is Ibn Kathir. But you like at tabari we will go to at tabari uh, here we go this is at tabari yeah all right actually hmm. at tabari say nothing look waja lakum allah al arda bisatan yaqul ta'ala dhikruhu mukhayran qila nuh liqawmihi mudakkaran amat rabbahu tastaqruna alayha wa tamtahidunaha where is the translation uh, wait i just uh, i just uh, refreshed uh, the yeah. page it doesn't, it doesn't it, he don't explain anything but if you go to Al Qurtubi underneath, like just one line and there, it says, Wahawa, Wallahu Jalakum al Ardu Bisatan, a Mapsuta. What Mapsuta mean? Happy. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm no, just kidding. Uh, it means uh, flat, flat. Flat. So he made it flat. So this, yeah, is, but, the, uh, so this is the interpretation. Yeah, Here we go. And this is Tafsir Al Jalalain, Mapsuta, correct? Meaning flat. So you're a scholar. Yeah. And this is Ibn Kathir. A Basataha wa Maddaha. وَثَبَّتَهَا بِالْجِبَالِ الرَّاسِيَاتِ Alright? So, he made yeah, it flat. Right. So, uh, all, all your scholars think, saying it's a flat. So, why you are saying I was wrong? Well, making it like uh, I'm upset, okay? Like, uh, for example, that, that does not explain what I explained. You get me? It's My like friend, I'm it's not... You, uh, it's you who say it, yeah. not me. I asked you what mabsota mean. First, you said happy. This is this is like a like a street word when you say mabsota. But in Arabic, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But in Arabic, when you say when we say this word mabsota, we mean that the earth became flat, right? So Allah who yeah, yeah. made for you that He did not make it appear. You are adding things. Not even one scholar says that the earth is made. It was made flat. I mean, uh, look like flat, but it's made flat. If we go in the Quran, I mean, if we go in the Quran. Yeah. Uh, you know, give, give me your patient a little bit, please. 
when the Quran right. says the haha, what the word the haha mean? That I'm not sure of. I know simple Arabic. I'm not. Uh, I heard. How come you speak Arabic yeah. very well? Yeah, yeah, I'm from Jordan. Okay. So, or, like, well, or the like, the haha, the Muslim. There is tons of videos saying that Allah He made the earth in a shape of a globe, like a bowl, and they say that the word the haha is mean a bowl or an egg, an, an egg, uh, uh, ostrich egg. Now, is the haha mean that or the align? What do you think? I mean, I'm not sure. I listen to scholars online. That's how I get my okay. information. Because I'm going it, to look for the article. Yeah. Give me a second. So in that case, like a guy from like who who talked to you, either they're all lying or you're lying. Hmm. A guy talked to you before. Okay. And I'm pretty sure not every single YouTube uh, scholar or anything would lie. You know. No problem. I'm pretty sure they would just like. No, make, my, my, like, friend. My, my, my friend. My friend. Yeah. Okay, my friend. I don't care who is lying or not, but I never saw a Muslim really when he tried to speak about science and the Quran is being honest I never met one and I hope that you are the one who will help me in that. All right So if we go in the Quran, we will find uh, uh, As an example, this is an article and just search or we can go on YouTube There's tons of videos in YouTube is speaking about the earth in the shape uh, 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 of an egg and they are quoting for us specifically this verse you know, look, I will show you the, the images. All those images, the Muslim, they say, this is the Quran, the Quran saying that. And this is a chapter 79, verse number 30. Do you see it in the screen? This is your uh, Muslim not website. Yet. Hold on. This is your Muslim website. Hold on, let me refresh because it's not on the screen for me. Yeah. It's just a picture. No of problem. Al-Aqsa Mosque. Does the Muslims in their claim they say that the Quran says that the earth is in the shape of an egg? Yeah, okay. I mean, that's that's what they say. That's what right. I but is that true or online. it's a lie? I'm asking you, is that a true or it's a lie? I mean, the I'm not, I'm not sure hmm. to be honest. It's more of a spherical or something, but maybe because, like, uh, you know, people who go to space don't actually because the hmm. actually the hmm. excuse me. Yeah. Okay. So now, all my right. friend, my friend, let's go to business yeah. instead of wasting your time and my right. time. All right. You said right, you sure. like you like al tabari, correct? Yeah, al tabari, al qurtubi, al jalalain. Okay. okay. What do you like? Al jalalain. Let us see. Okay. So chapter right, seventeen. It, okay. Chapter seventy-nine. Uh, one one thing, one thing, uh, right. one question. Okay, hold on. Uh, this is Ibn search, Abbas, uh, one by right. one. This is Ibn Abbas. He said, Allah, he spread the earth, okay? And he make it even. Even then he spread it, okay? So he spread the earth. Let us go to Ibn Ajlalain, the one you choose, because this was your choice. This is Ajlalain. All right. All right. He spread out the earth. He made it flat. Does it say that? Uh, wait, uh, um, it's still loading hmm. that he spread the earth even then he spread it on wait. Can you put it in Arabic so I can see it better so I can clearly yeah, the... no, no problem Here we like... go. You see but I'm showing because the people they are watching they speak English only Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. But anyway, but this, is a like... line. this is your official Islamic website the kingdom of Jordan You are from Jordan, right? So the king of Jordan is your king. Yeah, okay. It says yeah. here it says uh, the website Royal of Ahl al Bayt Institute of the Islamic Thought, Amman, Jordan. Do you see it? Yeah, I okay. see it. This is authentic government website. Okay, it says he made the earth flat for it being created before the heaven. Okay, so the Muslims they lie and they say that this word the haha mean shape of an egg, but we cannot find one Muslim translation. Add in the word egg in the interpretation or shape of an egg. Why? They are saying the opposite. He said it's expanded, it's spread it, trying to hide the truth. But as you see, the word the haha mean he made it flat. So Allah here is speaking about how he created the earth. He created the sky. He left the sky up. He uh, he made the day and the night, which mean the stars. And then and after that, he made the earth flat. You said to me, I'm wrong. About when I said the earth is a flat according to Islam, how you say about this? What do you say about this? Mm, I don't know what to say. Okay, what about we go Not and sure. see? We see Ibn Kathir. Do you like Ibn Kathir? 
yeah, yeah. Go okay. ahead, yeah. 79, yeah. here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. I will show you the whole website in the screen. Uh, Ibn Kathir, all right. Verse number 30. Okay, we will show the whole page. Now, let us go where he says the ha ha. All right. Well, the ha ha. He explained in the statement by the statement in the follow. It says, uh, it mentioned uh, that the earth was created uh, before the heaven. It was created and it was only spread out after the creation of the heaven. This is mean he brought out what was uh, with force action and meaning that it was said that Ibn Abbas, he said, etc. And then after that, Allah, he placed the mountains. So here he says that the earth is uh, created after the heaven and he spread it out again. All right. This, All right. Is, this is this is Ibn Kathir in in in, uh, in the English translation. All right. All right. Actually, in different oh. place, let me see if I can find it for you. Uh, where Ibn Kathir he said it clearly, the earth is a flat. Period. It's not like a, a maybe, you know. Uh, let us see. Flat. Um, by the way, I have a question. Go ahead. Which is the earliest tafsir that came out? Like, which one is it? Uh, the Muslims themselves disagree about which one the earliest. You know. I mean, so uh, I it's, not, it's not because of that. I just want to know, like, maybe the earliest. Some they say uh, uh, there is mujahid. Some they say to you. I mean, every every Muslim here has his own story. Islam is messed up, uh, so I cannot really give you, uh, because Muslim themselves don't agree. So how I can agree about something? Muslim themselves don't agree about any. So. Uh, but there is the olders, let us say, like a tabari, mujahid, etc. Uh, but uh, but there is no really for sure. Now let us see. I'm I'm trying to look for you. What Ibn Kathir uh, made it clear. Uh, Uh, I'm trying to find what what volume. It's hard to remember everything with this little brain. Uh, yeah, maybe I will try later too because I cannot find the volume in uh, which in Arabic. So you can see that Ibn Kathir he made it clear. Uh, Give me a second, maybe we can find it. Okay. Maybe we found something, let us see. Because I don't like to say something and I don't show it, you know. So, but I can't. I'm waiting. Take your time. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Yeah, well, uh, there is a website actually, but I could not open it. It's uh, loading very slow, taking forever. So maybe like in the future, we can show it to you. Where Ibn Kathir, he made it so clear, you know. Uh, and, but anyway, already we we uh, we showed you what uh, Jalalain is saying, what Ibn Abbas is saying, and those are all Islamic scars. And we can go to Al-Tabari, we can go to 
al qurtubi we can go to anyone you want all of them they are saying the same so now what is the solution my friend what do you think if I'm you're, not if sure to be your Muslim but, scholars, but, your Muslim scholars saying those it's mean that Allah He created the earth as a flag. So what we will do? Uh, I, I'm not sure to be honest, but hmm. I'm not sure. Hmm. I'm not sure. But the thing is, it's like uh, every Muslim scholars and we are raised to believe something. In the end, we believe something else. You know, it's like. Uh, we were raised we were raised up mm. believing that islam is a true li religion you know okay so are and, you now finding uh, like islam is a true religion i'm still not sure to be honest but i just want to okay. get a few what is more making you still believe islam is a true religion until now can you give me something like you know as long as we are talking about quran and science did you find anything really scientific in the quran as the muslims they say to you and you are a muslim it's more prophecies well, of the where end is the days. prophecy how is that? It's like, yeah, that the fact that the sun will split, like the sun will uh, rise from the other side. Yeah, but this is uh, this hadith here proving to us that the Quran is wrong. Because if the sun will rise from the other side, and this is about the sun moving from the east to the west, that's mean Allah, he have it, uh, the earth flat again. Because when the earth set, or the sun, sorry, the sun set, does the sun go yeah. anywhere? No, no, but it also depends on the Earth's rotation, you know. Yeah, no, no problem. But I'm saying to you, the Earth rotation is what makes the sun appear to be like it's moving from the east to the west, correct? Yeah. Okay. But, but, your, prophet, that way, but your prophet saying the opposite. Your prophet saying that the sun goes, the sun travel from point A to point B. And this is what the Quran meant in chapter 36, verse number 38, where it says, uh, and this is your prophet explaining the verse so the sun every day is goes ie travel from point a to point b now is that an accurate thing or this is something not smart to say uh may, like can i see the tafsirs because i trust the tafsirs this is the hadith this is sahih al bukhari this is your prophet Sahih, explaining. Sahih, this is not Sahih. tafsir. This is more higher than the tafsir because Muhammad here is talking. The prophet asked me at the sunset, "Do you know where the sun goes?" At the time of the sunset, I replied, "Allah and His apostle know better." He said, "It goes, i.e., travel till it prostrates itself under the throne of Allah." Do you agree with this? I do not. But uh, another question: Like, which website is this? This is Sunnah.com. Sunnah.com is it trusted? Which uh, country is okay, about which uh, country, my friend? This is the hadith. You can check the hadith. This is the hadith number. Okay, this is Sahih yeah. Bukhari, hadith number 3199. The website is not important. I can post this in my website. I, I, I website I own it doesn't change the fact that this is Sahih Bukhari. And this is yes, this is an Islamic website run by Muslims called Sunnah.com, Muslim Sunni. So the sun goes every day, and the sun, he this is how he explain the sunset. Now, this is obviously Muhammad. You do not know what he's talking about. All right. But a few more things, actually. It's like, uh, for example, that's like, how does this explain that the sun is going to rise at the end of, like, at the end of this, the sun will rise from the okay. other side? Look what it says. Here. Like, this is not about the rotation of the earth will change. No, this is about the sun itself will go and come from the place where it came from, which means from the west. This is stupid. So this is not about rotation of the earth will change. This is the sun will change where it's coming from. Read carefully. It says it clearly that the sun will keep doing this, <coughs> going from the east or rise again and permit it for it to come uh, 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 like every day. But then when the judgment day come or it's close, the sun will raise from the west. Do you see it? It says, uh, but, I it, but it will not permitted, but it will be ordered to return whence it has come, and so it will raise from the west. So the one who will change direction is not the earth rotation, it is the sun, which used to do the daily thing from the east to the west. Now Allah will order the sun to go back from the base where it's coming from, which is the west. And this is obviously false. 
And I saw a video. I know why you are saying this is about rotation of the earth because I saw a video saying uh, a Muslim sheikh with the music in the background, brother. Allah he said the earth will change the rotation. Scientists they are saying the earth is slowing in its rotation until one day the earth will flip and change the rotation and then the sun will appear from the west. But this is not what the hadith is saying. Too much drama and too much music and too much fabrication. Fraud. I mean, don't you think that it might be a metaphor of something? My friend, they're like, talking about the sunset. Actually. You see, uh, I don't know what's your name, my friend. What's your name? Yusuf. Yusuf. So listen, does yeah. it sound like metaphorical? He is saying, do you know where the sun goes at what time, sunset? So now the sun is setting. Muhammad is explaining where the sun goes. How this is can be metaphorical? I don't know. Maybe it's like uh, where the, where does the sunset? Maybe at the end of times, you know, the judgment day. They are maybe talking in that day, my friend. Experts. The guy was riding his donkey with his friends, and then he says the sun is setting. He said, "Do you know where the sun set?" This is not like they are sitting and they are talking about something. They are seeing the sun. The sun is setting now. So, do you know where the sun set? This is your your prophet question. He asked me at the sunset. Do you know where the sun goes? I mean, he even make it more clear. Goes where the sun goes. He did not even say where the sun set. He said where the sun goes. Can I see it in Arabic? Yeah, sure. Here we go. Like just just for a slight moment. I just yeah. want to read it. Here we go. Do you see it? Uh, wait, it's uh, still uh, loading. No problem. Uh, let me and tell you, if you read it, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and invite your friends and tell your friends that we are doing live broadcasts in this channel, not the Arabian Prophet, until for a further uh, date. So did you see it? Oh, yeah, Yusuf? Don't worry, I already subscribed to this channel. Yeah, well, I'm talking to the <laughs> to the people there, no problem. I know, I know, I know, I'm just okay. joking. That's, I like to have a sense of humor. All right. Wait, Tadri uh, Aina Tadhab. Wait, let me, can I read it from the beginning, yeah? It take two seconds. Why taking long with you? Here we go. Let me read for you. Maybe, maybe I'm faster. It says, "An Abi Dhar, رضي الله عنه قال قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم لابن ذر لأبي ذر حين غربت الشمس أتدري أين تذهب؟ قلت الله ورسوله أعلم. قال فإنها تذهب حتى تسجد تحت العرش فتستأذن فيؤذن لها ويوشك ويوشك أن تسجد لها فلا يقبل منها وتستأذن فلا يؤذن لها." ويقال لها ارجعي من حيث جئت فتطلع من مغربها فذلك قوله تعالى والشمس تجري الى لمستقر لها ذلك تقدير العزيز العلي اه so the, 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 the sun is the one is running the sun is going and this is what the quran even he he, he support what he say from the quran so he explaining the verse in the quran that the sun Run in a course. This is the course of the sun. It's everyday course. And the Muslim, they make a, a, a miracle about this, scientific miracle about this, where it says the sun run into its course. They claim that this is about that the sun will die one day. But as you see, this is about every day the sunset. They lie as usual. Wait, was she also the room to cut her the hair? Mm. All right, um, uh, I don't know about this to be honest. Like, can you show me a Quranic verses that agree with this? Well, you know, because the hadith that does said, not agree with the Quran. You said, I don't know. You, you were, you, I, I, my friend, what did you eat today? So, what the verses I just showed you already about the earth is a flat? <laughs> Didn't I show you already many verses? You know, it's it's kind of hard the fact that. You know, you've been raised in one thing and led to believe one thing, and then it turns out that everything you believe is wrong. You know, so I just want to like okay. make sure that if people, my whole belief is one hundred percent. If people they fool me and they lie to me, I'm not going to be a fool and uh, stay a fool. I mean, okay, I was born in this uh, community. 
this is what they told me he's a prophet etc but it's obvious this is this is false everything we see in front of us well or do bad that again yeah, okay let me let me ask you which one Allah he created first I showed you uh, what it says that Allah he made the earth before the heaven correct this is the seer chapter 79 verse number 30 does it say here Allah he created uh, wait one second uh, I gotta refresh the page yeah it so says here, it would light up he made flat earth for it had been created before the heaven so according to Islam, the earth he created before the heaven. Do you agree with that? Wait, uh, what does it say? It's a lot of words. Yeah, yeah. I can't. Yeah, no, no problem. It says that the earth created the flat and the earth was created before the heaven. Do you agree with that? I mean, yeah, if, if it says that, then I agree with it, that okay. the but, earth okay. was created the before earth the heavens. Is, isn't it the earth is inside the space? So how the earth is created, but there's no space for it? You know, uh, God can do anything. So basically, he, so when he, he decides it, something, he, he can his do mouth? it. You know? It was in his mouth. Well, where was the earth? You see, when I create, when I build a house, I have to build the house. The house is a physical dimension, correct? Excuse me again the earth if I build a house. Yeah, the house is a physical right. dimension. There's walls There's heights correct. So it's going to take a size. Yeah, okay So shouldn't I first have a space so I can put the house in I Mean if he wants to create the house like it, we can't Put God's level on our level, you know, no my friend. This is the level of God God He created the space because he needs this why it's called the space because he this is needed. I know but he does not need it. No, it's you know, needed. He, because he's God. He, no, no, it's needed. So what if he's God? <clears throat> okay, he created an earth. Earth is a physical physical thing. So this earth, which is a physical being, is going to be where is going to be inside the space. So you cannot create the earth before you create the space first. Otherwise, where the earth was, if there's no space. So look what it says. Here. You know, All right. you can you can go with your logic, no problem. But look at here. If I say to you now, I created the uh, the sky first, and I finished the stars. Do you agree with the Quran? All right. Chapter seventy-nine, verse number twenty-seven, says, "Allah created the heaven, and then He lifted up, yeah. and then He made the day and the night. He made the day and the night." And then after that, he, he made the earth flat. He, he made what? He made the what? In verse number twenty-nine, he made the day and the night. It's night. Hmm. You know what duha mean, right? Uh, no. The, the 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 day the day the, the daylight. You know. So he made the night and he made the daylight. Okay. And then after that, he made the earth flat. In the interpretation they are saying that the earth was created before the heaven so Allah here is coming back to finish work in his earth I will go with this but look what says Allah he finished the sky in chapter 79 first before he finished the earth do you agree yeah he finished the sky before he finished the earth or the Thank earth you. finished before but if the we sky go, okay but if we go to verse, chapter number 41 we will see that the opposite allah he finished the earth before he finished the sky allah he start working first in the sky and he made the stars and the day and the night and then after that he start working in the earth if you read can it, i see the series of them okay uh, like sorry. uh it's, yeah. uh, chapter 41 actually is saying the, uh, the opposite from that one I mean here it says that Allah in chapter 41 he created the earth and the mountains and everything in the earth and the grass and the trees and then he went to the sky and he in the sky was smoke and then verse number 12 he made them seven skies and he made the lamps this is a chapter 41 but if we go to chapter uh, 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 79 we will find the opposite here it says that the last thing Allah created is the stars take a note please this is chapter 41 verse number 12 what is the last thing Allah created 
the stars okay think, yeah. if we go to verse chapter 79 what is the last thing Allah created uh, I forgot uh, I'm, I I read with, me carefully. Forget, I'm read with me carefully Allah he built the sky right. here verse number 27 then Allah he left the sky then Allah he made the lamps Wait. he made day and night verse number 29 it's, it's and then not, it's not uh, it's not appearing yet no so problem just it's give going to take time seconds. you will see it and then Allah he went to the earth and he made it flat and then after that he made the water and the grass and the trees and after that he put mountains and after that he made all things for you as cattle as animals so the last thing it was the animals and the stars was all the way in the beginning after he made the sky he left the sky he made day and night but in chapter 79 it says the opposite Allah he created first the earth in two days right, can I tell you something about it like from what I saw online hmm. is that at the beginning the sky was just like a smoke you know it's just void and then he created the stars my the friend seven this heavens. is not the problem I don't he created it. that after no no problem no problem but which one Allah he created first the stars or the grass and the tree and the water that will make it simple for you if you read with me carefully think with me please here right. in chapter 41 he created the earth in two days and then he made mountains standing firm and he made all the substance of the earth which mean grass and trees and then then and you speak Arabic and the Arabic is so clear not that like yeah. translate it says thumma thumma mean after correct yeah thumma okay so thumma stawa yeah. so after that he went to the sky and the sky was totally a smoke which means there was nothing correct yeah but I, I just saw something online I, no I was searching no, while you, were talking. you no problem let us say yeah the sky was exist as a smoke but this is not the problem the problem is Allah he says that after the sky was a smoke this is was after he finished the whole earth and then he went to the sky no, so he made, yeah he went to the sky and then he made them seven skies and then in verse number 12 yeah because he wanted to show the power no problem he wanted to show the he power made them, no problem let him, let, him, let him do as show as he much no problem so but here in verse number 12 he says and the last thing he made is the lights the lamps so uh, can you show me the like don't the lights represent the seven heavens no my friend it says was an and we decorated the lowest heaven with lamps this is according to your god he put the stars in the lowest heaven do you see it wait and this is the arabic uh i provided it with wait can, can i see it in arabic yeah can I see it in Uh, I have a question, CP. All right. We have to know the Prophet before we know Quran, you know? My friend, don't share topic. Does it say here, Allah, Allah he created yeah. the sky, and he, the last thing he finished is the stars. Does it say that or not? Wait. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, he created the seven heavens in two days. Yeah, but this wow, is the last stage. This is the last stage. This is not my point. My point, my friend, focus with me, please. The last thing right, Allah focus. in this chapter 41, do you have a pen and paper? Write down. The last thing in chapter 41, verse wait, number 12. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, I, I mean, you just gave me a good advice. I do need a notepad. Just give me a second. Uh, tell me the last thing Allah created in according to chapter 41 
it is the lights the lamps the stars verse number 12 this is the last thing Allah he finished and that's it he finished all his creation so he finished everything in the earth then after that and you read Arabic it says and then after that he went to the heaven and the heaven was a smoke and then after that he made the sky seven skies and then he made the lamps so this is the last of Allah creation Kabich uh, yeah I just wrote it it's right. like the last thing uh, Allah created was the okay. lights representing the lamps chapter, and the lamps no problem stamps. if we go now to chapter 79 chapter 79 right. is totally the opposite Allah created the sky verse number 27 in chapter uh, uh, 79 and then he lift up the sky and then he made the stars do you see it and All right. he made the night and the day and then after that he made the earth flat and after that he put the water and the grass and after that he put the mountains so how that can work this chapter saying the first thing Allah in order he made the sky he left the sky up and yeah. then he made the stars so according to this chapter the last thing Allah he did he after he finished the mountains he created the animals verse number 33 but in chapter 79 chapter uh, sorry 41 the last thing after Allah he finished all those things the cattle the water the substance of the earth everything in the earth after that he went to the sky the sky was not even yet created he made in seven skies it was a smoke and then after that the last thing he created the lamps uh can you show me the both references can you just like tell me what chapter verse chapter and verse okay i will do this all right i will try to put them side by side for you maybe that will help you it, it will actually it's uh okay it's very helpful to be honest yeah no problem here we go let me zoom out in the right of the screen is a chapter 79 in the left screen is a chapter 41 so in chapter 41 we see that the last thing Allah he did he created the lamps all right okay in the last thing that Allah he did after he finished everything in the sky already the lamps is created the earth was nothing done except that Allah he just created the earth according to the interpretation of Jalalain then Allah he start creating or working in the earth he says well ardu ba'da dhalika you know what Allah yeah. after that he made the earth flat you see the Muslim translation he says and the earth moreover doesn't say that it says in Arabic well and the earth after that he made it flat and then after that he gave the earth its own needs moisture water grass and after that he created the mountains and after that he created the animals but in the other side it says the opposite Allah he created the earth first and the mountains and the grass and he gave it all its poor uh, like uh, 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 sustenance like the measurement everything the earth need to survive and then after that he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke and then he made the sky seven sky and then after that he made the earth the heaven which is seven skies he made them in two days and he gave them the light so how this is can be from God one is saying the first thing Allah created and finished is the trees the grass and the water and then uh, the last thing is the light which is the stars and the other one saying the opposite the first is the stars and the last thing is the grass and the trees and the cattle so how this is going to be from God? Can you show me the verses before those? 
maybe it's like there's context. I find, no, the verses seeing. before them doesn't show anything because the verse before them, here we go. This is the verse before them. I showed you from where it starts about the creation. I did not cut anything. Here we go. Here he's speaking about being righteousness. But suddenly he speak about, do you know that how Allah, how Allah created the earth? So verses before them have nothing to do with them. Be a cat. Be righteous as the Muslims so do like do jihad, kill the Christians, kill the Jews. So here, suddenly he jumped to say, say, don't, can you deny that Allah created the earth in two days? I mean, this is very funny even to say, do you deny? Because they didn't, they did not see that happen. Nobody saw how this happened. So they deny or not. I mean, how did they witness it? No. So Allah created the earth in two days. And then he said the earth mountains. This is the second step. Oh, what you need to do, Yusuf, you can write, you can read one by one alone. But step by step, okay, what the first thing Allah he did in chapter 41, he created the earth in two days. What is next? He put the mountains. That's number two. What is number three? He bestowed his blessing on the earth by giving them the measure of all needs, like grass, trees, water. What is next? Then after that, not moreover, after that, he went to the sky and the sky was a smoke. If we change this stupid translation here, we will see the following. Then he stawa, he rose over, right? So he moved. So now he was walking in the earth and now he moved to the heaven and the heaven was nothing but a smoke. And he ordered the earth and the heaven to go and bow down to him or let us say to, to, to pay respect. So now we have earth and now we have heaven, but the earth is totally finished. The heaven is not, it's just a smoke. Then he completed, completed what? The heaven and finished from their creation as seven heavens in two days. And he made each heaven its affair. And then we ad adorned the nearest heaven, the lowest heaven with lamps. So this is the last thing according to chapter 41 is done. But look, the order here is totally the opposite. Allah first he created the sky then he created the land exactly not only that focus in one thing not only created the land the trees and the substance and the light when they are created so here Allah he created the sky are you more difficult or creating the, the heaven he lifted up he made day and night this is the lamps and then after that he made the earth flat and after that he made the water does it say in Arabic here or I'm lying does it say that no you're not no okay so this is the number this is the step after Allah he made the earth flat he made the water and the grass the trees this is the, this is the you know maraha anything have to do with the greenery and then after that, he made mountains on the top of the earth. But if we go on the other side, it's the opposite. Allah first, he created the earth in two days. And then in four days, he made all the measurements like the grass, the trees, the water, etc. And then after that, he went to the sky and the sky at this stage, it was just a smoke. There was nothing. And then he created the sky as seven sky. And then he created the lamps. I mean, I don't know what I can do more for you, Mr. Yusuf. After all of this explanation, you did not get it? Wait, just give me a second. Please. Uh, yeah, I, I got it. I got it, but I think it has like. Can I see tafsirs like in Arabic? So I my can. My friend, you can see it. Better all, of, all of them, they get themselves busted. My friend Yusuf, you see, it doesn't matter how long I'm going to show you again and again. I mean, even this one need tafsir. It's very simple. It's very simple. It says Allah created the stars at the end here. It says Allah created the, the, the opposite at the end here. It's the opposite. You do not need. You speak Arabic, especially you, you speak Arabic. You have no excuse to say, I did not get it. Yeah. And you can open yeah. the interpretation. I don't care. 
still we have the same but, problem but, but islam is uh, is peaceful you know it, it's like my friend islam, it's islam right. is peaceful right this is why your prophet he split the women to pieces when she was making poetry against him um, right can i see reference to that yeah we can talk about what, what about this we don't want to change topic now you can search you speak arabic search for maqtar um qurfa qatalaha qatlan anifan fashaqaha bayna jamalain uh, which which one which uh, surah is the, which she was more hadak is the hadith the hadith yeah the hadith uh, which one is it which one you mean the what about um qurfa yeah the one he split in half yeah just uh, you know type in google maqtar um qurfa just type that you will find uh, what do I type? Huh? Uh, can, can I? What can I type? Can you spell it slowly? Because I'm gonna type it. You know, on okay, like no, my notes. No so problem. To keep, you know, no, no yeah? problem. No problem. Uh, let me help you. All right. Because there is many stories about it, all right. Have you ever heard of a book called Kitab al Maghazi? Kitab al Maghazi, yeah, which is about this is one of the oldest actually. Uh, things written about your prophet attacks and killing. Uh, Let's see. Kitab al Maghazi, what chapter? What's the lady's name? Uh, what? What? The lady's name, the, the one he killed. Ummu Qirfa. Ummu, what? Just wait, let me give you this one. Hold on. All right, yeah. Um, let's see. All right, I will give you the link so you can you can read it in your own time. This is right. the story of Muqirfa. I want you to read with me carefully. This is the book, At-Tabaqat Al-Kubra, Muhammad bin Sa'ad, volume number two, page number 90. Do you see it on the screen? Uh, not yet. Uh, then he completed uh, and finished from their creation as seven no, heavens. Uh, I'm still stuck on that refresh, screen. I just refresh. Refresh your page. Yeah, I just refreshed. It's uh, still there. Do you see it now? Uh, wait. Uh, I just saw like one in the comment just posted me Kitab al Maghazi by. You know, I'm reading different books now. There's many books, no problem. Look with me on the screen. Kitab al Tabaqat al Kubra li Muhammad ibn Sa'ad. Variant number two, page number 90. Do you see it in the screen? It should have Yeah, Tabaqat al Kubra. Wait, 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 wait. My friend, we are just wasting time. I will give you the link. You later you can open it. No problem. You know, you can emphasize On uh, Skype? Yeah, I will give it to you in Skype. But if you go down right, here right. with me, I will give you the link in Skype. You can open it from your side. Maybe that is better. And okay, yeah. you will see be... here, it says, Ummu Qurfa wa hiya ajuzun kabira. What ajuzun kabira mean? Tell us. Old woman. Very old, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Not only he is, she is ajuz, old ajuz, which means old, old women. So this is the link. I just give it to you. Now, أم قرفة وهي عجوز كبيرة فقتلها قتلا عنيفا ربط بين رجليها حبلا ثم ربطها بين بعيرين ثم زجرهما فذهبا فقطعاها وقتل النعمان وعبيد الله ابني so wait the, 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 this is Shia by the way my friend Shia no, the, the Tabaqat al-Kubra is not this is a Shia library this is the book they have tons of books Sunni Muslim no problem Tabaqat al-Kubra have nothing to do with the Shia so this is a Sunni book, and this is your Islamic Sunni books, and there is many of them. This is one of them saying the story. 
And the library here is called the Library of the Shia. It's a library. They have all books. Now, this is saying all that right. he, cut, he tied her legs between two camels and he ordered the camels to run in two different directions. Or I'm lying. Wait, to the chest. Well, the Bakatu Kubra is it Sahih or is it Our just friend, all Islamic there. stories are not Sahih? Have you ever heard of an Islamic story is Sahih? Anything will look embarrassing. The Muslim they will say it's not Sahih. I mean, we know the game, yeah. I know the game, but okay. it's like Sahih. So Muslim, sahih? Sahih nothing is sahih in Islam. Uh, if you ask me, nothing is correct in Islam, nothing is authentic. Muhammad is not authentic, the Quran is not authentic. So, if you ask me, Islam, all of it is a fraud. So, when you say to me, it's Sahih or not, this is your business, this is your religion. This is not the Christian wrote a book saying the prophet he did that. This is you Muslims from your own time. This is your scholars. They are reporting to us the history of your prophet. So why you Muslim now you say to us, is that authentic? I mean, why you Muslim you fabricate a lie about your prophet like this? Unless it's true. Why in the world, Mr. Yusuf, a Muslim, you're a Muslim. Why in the yeah. world you want to make a book? It says that the prophet, he did this. I mean, why are you why are you want to make your prophet look ugly? But for the Muslims, they never thought this is ugly. This is good. He pun Allahu Akbar because it's not make you enjoy being savage. So but those like, who wrote the no. books are Muslims. This is your Muslim book, and this is page number ninety, and this is value number two. So what we will do now? And the story reported in many this? places. What did you say just just now? What did you say? It's like uh, two seconds ago. I said Islam have books yeah. written by Muslims. And why a Muslim want to write a story like this about his a prophet if it's not true? You see, if the one who wrote this book is a Christian, we will say, okay, Christian prince making Muhammad look ugly, maybe. Maybe he's lying about him. Maybe the Jews. Yeah, I know. Some people yeah, think those... ugly things are good, yeah, and yeah, some people think uh -huh. good things are ugly. So For example, because Muslim, they were proud about the behavior of their prophet. He is a criminal. They have a. This is how they grow. That this is good. That's why the Quran says, you know, when you kill a human being, you did not kill him. It's Allah who kill him. It's not me who shoot him. It was Allah who shot him. Right. Yeah, but okay. uh, here's here's the thing. For example, I I trust two. Like if you show me anything from Sahih Muslim or Sahih Bukhari, I'm gonna trust it. But it's like uh, I've never heard of this book before. So I, me personally, I cannot friend, really trust it. And some friend, people, my friend, see good as all right. Yeah, yeah. We can show you endless things from Sahih Bukhari, but the second you see them, you will say I don't agree. No, no, no. I'll agree. If it's Sahih Bukhari, if it's Sahih Bukhari, I'll trust it because, like, if Sahih Bukhari, it's the okay, most trusted. What, 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 what do you want me to show you from Sahih Bukhari exactly? Uh, this one, the, the one you just okay, showed me. So now, if this story is not existing, Sahih Bukhari, you will not accept it. I will not accept it. No. Okay. So if I show you something from Sahih Bukhari, you accept anything? Anything. Hmm. Do you? Have you ever prayed before the Imam? Behind the Imam, my friend? Oh, yeah, I've heard this one. When if you raise your head up, you're gonna turn your head into a horse donkey. or a pig. Uh, donkey. Donkey. Okay. Is that <laughs> true or this is a fabrication of your prophet? <laughs> what? Oh, sorry, this is a <laughs> well, This is Sahih Bukhari. So now here we go. You have Sahih Bukhari. You can say, I don't believe it. I know, but it's like, uh, could it possibly be that at the uh, يعني, Yom Qiyama, probably, no, or anything, no. but because it's like... This is about people praying, what the Yom Qiyama. Aren't you afraid? He was talking to people in his time. Aren't you afraid if you raise your head before the Imam, Allah will make your head a head of a donkey? Have you ever seen one person I, in Jordan, he left his head before the Imam, his head became a head of a donkey? Maybe in the afterlife, his head will be a donkey. My friend, and why Allah will make his That's... head the head of a donkey? Because the guy, he left his head. I mean, people, they rape. Yeah, sounds... Listen, people, people they rape. Allah don't take their head. Their Allah, head listen, uh, people rape, people kill, people steal. And Allah did not make their head the head of a donkey. Just because you're a good guy praying to Allah, just because you left your head up before he finished, Allah will make your head. Isn't it obvious Muhammad is making fun of you? 
Well, it's not, it's not because of that. For example, uh, I can show you from the Bible and from the Quran mm -hmm. why it's considered obedience to do that. Ah, For example, it's obedience my friend, my friend. to... Can't, Allah, yeah. can't, can't the Prophet says, don't do this without adding fictions and lies because this is a lie. Either he mean it or it is a lie. So if you're trying to scare us, like, you know, in the old days in the Middle East, they used to scare the kids so they will not go away. Don't go away because the beast will take you. So every child, he think there is really a beast. If you go out of his street, the beast will eat him. So Muhammad, either he mean what he is saying or he is a liar. Choose one. Which one? He means what he's saying in Judgment Day, but not necessarily in the lifetime because it's physically impossible ah, for you. Okay. If you lift your head up, you're going to be a donkey. Ah. What, what are we in, Shrek? Yeah, Come on. But it's like, day. it's it's obvious that... So now it, in the Judgment Day, Allah will make your head of a donkey. So we will find people their head like a donkey from the Muslims. I mean, the Prophet said anything, like everything he said ah. has a reason for it. Okay. You know, and that's what I'm led to believe. He, like the reason for him saying that, uh -huh. maybe it's a metaphor. Mm. You know, maybe it's a metaphor, for example, that uh, mm. he become more stupid. You, you don't know what happens, you know. Mm. Maybe maybe he means like uh, to scare people. Right. Maybe. Okay. You're not, have, you you ever, not have, have you ever watched a cartoon? Uh, of course I did. I have still you do. ever see the part of the Caribbean where is the fountain? It's called the Fountain of Youth? Yeah. Okay, this is in the Sahil Bukhari. Here we go. Sit in front of you. Your what? prophet claimed that there's a prophet, his name Al Khudr. He Wait, which movie was that? Al Khudr. The Green, Mr. Green, Al Khudr. You know, you speak Arabic, so why are you surprised? Yeah, yeah, Al Khudr, okay. Al Khudr, yeah, yeah. So, uh, Musa, he thought he is the best one who knows uh, knowledge about Allah. Allah told him, no, there is more knowledgeable than you. His, his name is Al Khudr. So Musa says, oh, send me to him. I want to learn from him. So he sent him and he told him to take with him a fish, which is a whale. And then he told him when this whale, he run away, which, but the whale is dead. How he can run away? He, you will know that you found Al Khadr. So they arrived to Arok. Read with me. This is Sahih Bukhari. There was uh, wait, a water oh, spring. Let me see it. Let me see. It's like it, it, my net is slow. So no problem. I, will give you even, I will give you even the link so you can read in Arabic, not, not necessarily in English. But for me, I will show it in oh, English. So send, me, send me the link. Yeah. So he arrived to Arok. There was a water spring called the water of life. Hayat, And none comes in touch with its water, but become alive. Do you believe in this? Uh, wait. I'm opening the link. Just, just give me one second, yeah? Mm. All right, uh, Hadathani, okay. An, 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 hold on. Kala Kultul Ibn Abbas in the Nufil. Yeah, can you read it in English? Yeah, it's better yeah, in English. The, it's the like, okay, do you really believe that there is a fountain of youth? If you drink from it, you come back to life? If you drink from the mountain of youth, yeah. what will happen? You will become alive. Even if you touch it, just touch it, not drink it. Yeah. You believe in that? I mean, if Allah says it's true, then it's true. All right, my friend. Take care. It's true. What I can do? I mean, what I can do more? Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. no, what I can do more? Hold I mean, on. obviously, like, what do you mean? Like, you see, you show, show me from Sahil Bukhari. I'm showing you from Sahil Bukhari things which is crazy, it's stupid. This is no way you, there's no way a human being will believe that there's a water. It's called the water of youth. And the guy he drank from the water of youth, he will never die. Al Khadr, he was in the funeral of, 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 uh, of Adam, in the funeral of Noah, in the funeral of Musa, and he was in the funeral of your prophet. This guy never died. Why? Because he drank from the fountain of youth. So, my friend, why you believe in Muhammad? Go and believe in the part of the Caribbean. In the movie, the part of the Caribbean, they have, they are fighting over the fountain of youth. This is the movie about Muhammad. He have it 1400 years ago. And you are saying to me, if Allah says so. So if this is what you believe, I mean, there's nothing I can do to you. What I can do more. Don't tell me, wait. You are right, wasting, uh, wasting your time. Like, I'm wasting your time. There's nothing we can do. This is obviously, this is mad, my friend. I mean, come on. You know, it's like.
I want to understand more, you know, it's like uh, the hadiths are probably like more of like, how do I tell you? My friend, listen, For aren't example, you the one who says to me, show me from Sahih Bukhari? Did you say that or not? I did, yeah. Okay, isn't this a Sahih Bukhari in front of your eyes? It is. This is Sahih Al Bukhari. And I gave you the link. So if this is what your prophet is teaching, either it's true or it's a lie. The whale touched the water of the fountain of life. The whale came back to life. The whale, he ran in the ocean. And then they walk in the ocean. Read the story. They walk in the ocean. Even this is in the Quran. The whale, when he swim in the ocean, wherever he touched in the water, that place we became like a rock. So Moses and his, uh, his, uh, his servant, they walk on the water which became a rock. I mean, read the story. So if you believe in this and you say to me, okay, there's nothing wrong with it, then there's nothing nothing more I can say to you what I can do. It's not that. It's like uh, when I was younger, I was taught about this. And uh, the water is uh, al-ilm. You know, it's uh, My friend, science. it says in the front of you, it's a fish. It's a physical fish. What water is... Uh, here we go. He says water means knowledge now. It's a fish, real fish. It's a whale. Even in Arabic, it says whale. You know what? You know hoot, right? You know what? Hoot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hoot, yeah. it says, Wa ma ma al -hoot. not fish. It's not even a fish. It is a wheel. And they are giving you the names. And and then they wake up, blah, 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 blah. And then, okay, they ask him, what is the whale? He says, oh, I don't find it. It's gone. Why the wheel is gone? Because the water touch the wheel and the wheel come back to life. Hmm. And then they went back to look for the wheel and they follow the trace of the wheel in the water, in the ocean. And they walk in the ocean because the ocean where the wheel swim became like a tunnel, like a, like a highway. So they walk there and they keep walking, keep walking, keep walking until they found in the middle of the sea, a guy, read with me carefully. So they came back, retracting their steps, and then they found in the sea, the way of the fish. Have you ever heard of somebody can find a track of a fish in the sea? No. Why, is it a sand? Is it a snow? It's a water. So they found the track of the fish in the sea looking like a tunnel ah, so there was an astonishing event for this attendant and there was a tunnel for the fish when they reached the rock they found a man covered with garment moses greeted him the man said astonishingly is there is any such a greeting in your land <laughs> the guy is in a rock <laughs> in the middle of the ocean yeah moose as he walked in the ocean following the track of the of the fish or the whale and then he found in the middle of the ocean a rock which there's a guy sitting and he covered himself by a green garment and then musa said to him shalom habibi the guy said, which country is that they have such a greeting? Shalom. Musa said, I am Moses. The man, he says, Moses, the children of Israel, from the children of Israel, look, the guy, he heard about Moses. He watched TV. So Musa said, yes. Then he added, may I follow you? Musa said to the guy, can I follow you? Which means Al-Khadr is higher teacher than Moses. And the story there, you can listen to it and read it. It's the most stupid cartoon ever. I'll, I'll reread it later on. So I'll, of course, after all of this, my friend, be honest with me. Do you think Islam is a valid religion or, or it's a cult? I still don't know. I just got to ask my sheikh and, you know, I just got to ask. So you said, what about more. me and you? We make an agreement. Can you bring me your sheikh to debate me? I'll try. I'll talk to him. Of course, I'll talk to him. Yeah. All right. Can you do me a favor? I'll Can you record the conversation with him? Says there is a guy. His name is a Christian prince, and he want to debate you. 
you give it you, you post it in YouTube yourself and we will play it so we will see his answer all right yeah of ask course. him I want to record your uh, your uh, Christian Prince to challenge you I want to record it and I want to uh, post it in YouTube to show him that you are not afraid and you will do it I'll send it to you on Skype if uh, no, you're no, still no, I don't it. accept files in Skype you have to post it in file in, uh, in YouTube and you can make a private YouTube no problem or let us say enlisted so I can take it from there but I don't take files in my Skype then uh, what if I make another YouTube channel because I don't want my YouTube channel to make anything my friend don't make it complicated you can post it in Facebook anything you want doesn't matter find a way all right all right yeah take, take care my friend thank you uh, just one more question yeah th this question kind of gets to me hmm. a bit if uh, Islam is false then why did it spread this much and why is well, it uh, there's more atheists than Muslims does that mean atheists are right I mean, what does this mean? No, but and I, Muslim, Islam is not, I, Islam is not really uh, widespread. I mean, Muslim they immigrate and they, they go and they have a lot of babies. But the fact Islam is still a very small religion. Christians are I more, phrase, Christians are the more than three billion human. But we don't go and say we are right because we are three billion. So if the number is uh, true, uh, that will not make uh, anyone uh, right except the Christians. The Buddhas are bigger huge. The, the the Hindus are bigger huge. The atheists are bigger huge. So this is all is this is false logic, my friend. How many people believe in believing in smoking? Does it mean it's right? <laughs> no, no, it's not. It's not because of that. I'm saying my question was. My I friend, mean, 95, I it from... 95 percent of the Muslims don't speak Arabic. Is that correct? Yeah, I, okay. I think so. So but how those people like, they will so know Islam is a stupid if nobody showed them what Arabic it says? They recite the Quran, yeah. but they do not understand what the Quran is saying. And then Muslims Wait, they deceive actually, them and they say to them there is a miracle and science in the Quran and they fabricate millions of videos. So in order to make people see what this cult is and then we will see how many they will stay, you have to show them. And that's what we are doing. And that's why a lot of people will leave Islam and you will leave Islam too. Just wait. Uh, all right. I mean, I'm going to learn more. No problem. But I don't know if I'm going to leave it or not because it's like... Uh... Like, what's the point for it coming down in the first place? Is if it's what wrong? coming like, down, what? our friend? It's, coming down from where? Yeah. Coming from down, down from where? Do you really believe that God He sent such a crazy stuff? Come on, Yusuf, you're wasting my time. Coming down. Take care. <laughs>